Hey yo, hey guys, what's going on? It's Foggy here. Welcome back to some more WWE Supercard. Now, before we get into today's video, let's of course give a massive shout out to today's champ. Today's champ is Sandeep Nagra. Big shout out to Sandeep. Congratulations on being today's champ. Now, if you guys do want to be today's champ, you know what to do by now, but in case you don't, I'm going to list them all for you. You can like this video. Don't forget to click subscribe as well. Don't forget to click that post notification bell to be notified when we upload. What else you can do? You can comment down below in the comment section. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and Xbox. All that cool stuff will get you entered into be today's champ. There's one more final way, and that is to join the Discord. You'll also get the videos early, by the way, if you join the Discord. So there's a little perk for you, as well as other perks. But get into that Discord link at the top of the description. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking about Season 5. I didn't get a chance to do this video yesterday. Yesterday being Halloween, I had already made a Red Dead Redemption 2 video, which went out on the channel. Uh, by the way, if you like Red Dead Redemption 2... Please go check out the Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. Really would appreciate you guys' support on those videos. Yesterday we uploaded a unlimited money glitch for Red Dead Redemption 2. Yes, that's right. It works. I show that it works. Go check out that video if you want unlimited money in Red Dead Redemption 2. I also show you how to set up a second save so that if you have a game that you're playing properly and you don't want to ruin it by doing a glitch, you can just set up a second save just to see if it works. That's essentially what I did. So, now, today's video. We're talking about Season 5, okay? Let's get into some Supercard. We're going to play some Royal Rumble while we are uh, talking about this stuff. Um, let me just quickly edit my deck here. Is it my best decks in? Yeah. So, Supercard Season 5 is coming. They haven't given us a date yet, but what they've given us is a few exciting details, okay? So let me start. I'm literally going to be reading off what is on there. Say, so a new season of WWE Supercard is on the horizon. This year, we're looking backwards in order to move the game forward. We challenged ourselves to improve the fundamentals of the game, to streamline areas that have a direct impact on how you progress and how you spend your time in between matches by the way i'm looking down on my phone reading this so sorry that i'm not looking into the camera um, and then they go on to say from let me just pick joe here from training to menus season five is all about making your hobby more responsive and more satisfying so they're trying to make the game a lot more fun essentially uh, the game's got very stale very not fun uh, for a lot of people so i'm assuming they're just trying to make it fun again Let's go with in a bit of a sticky situation here. We're going to go with Daniel Bryan. Uh, the two shakeup feeds into this team pretty well. Grabbing hardened cards and above from the draft board as opposed to, say, commons and rares means you'll be spending less time in the improve or card select menus watching numbers go up and down. So essentially what they're saying is they're reminding you that the tiers will now start at hardened but don't worry, any cards that you have below Harden, do, they'll still be there. They won't disappear. They'll just go into the Legacy section. Uh, Adam called there. And they'll just go into the Legacy section. So don't worry. Your cards that you have below Harden won't uh, disappear. But for ne from Season 5 onwards, the card that will reset a tier, or reset a board, sorry, is Ultimate. Ultimate and above will reset a board. So Harden will be like your commons wear and elite will be like uncommons wear. But don't worry, your elite commons and uncommons that you may have at the moment, they won't disappear if you want to hang on to them. Um, let's go with Dean Ambrose here. So where was I? Uh, this also frees up the card cap or the card uh, limit for much more meaningful cards, allowing you to play longer. So essentially, they're trying to make it so that if you're playing Ring Domination, you're not going out and emptying the card limit every so often. It'll last a little bit longer. Um, allowing you to play that longer. Well, while it's true that legacy cards like our incredible Season 2 Dolph Ziggler Common won't come off the draft board in Season 5, you're gaining a lot of usability in return. by Dolph Common, hello, improve flow. So they're improving it by not making you hit the card limit every so often. That's cool. Uh, other changes coming to Season 5 that fit within this team. A totally new My Cards menu that prioritizes... Let me just figure out who I'm picking here. Dolph Ziggler. Prioritizes your strongest cards with an overall to make everything cleaner and quicker. So that would make me assume that instead of going from common 
all the way down to the currently highest tier SummerSlam 18 it would start with SummerSlam 18 obviously it's going to start with the new tiers that come out but it'll start with that one and then it'll go down to the weaker ones as you scroll down that would be an obvious solution um but uh ba -ba 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 -ba, where am i um yeah it uh, a totally new my cards menu that prioritizes your strongest cards with an overhaul to make everything cleaner and quicker you'll be able to get your most important cards faster it's weird if you think about it but this is a menu that we haven't really touched in four years it was about time for an update they're right they're right about that a brand new main menu which is exciting brand new main menu is always exciting a brand new main menu designed specifically to let you get to your cards quicker and get in and out of our modes faster also it includes a unicorn i mean it's pretty obviously the new day unicorn um a multi-fusion chamber equipped with three different fusion chambers now this bit's important okay uh Equipped with three different fusion chambers, one for your regular fusions. So you can only do one regular fusion at once. Don't get don't get it confused. You can't do three regular fusions at once or two regular fusions at once. You can only do one regular fusion at once. Okay. So there's one chamber for regular normal fusions. Then the, they're the fusions that we have at the moment. One for legacy fusions, which are cards that you probably want to carry over, or cards that you'll get images for essentially, and um, like we had with the previous legacy fusion chamber in season two. I want to say um and for one for promotional fusion so like the halloween fusions uh thanksgiving fusions summer fusions stuff like that um so again you can't do three halloween fusions you can't do three normal fusions you can't do two of each you can't do blah 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 you can only do one of each each fusion chamber is set up for a specific set of fusions okay uh making sure to split out the functionality of the fusion chamber a reinvigorated card catalog that crisply displays all the cards that you've collected the heart of WWE Supercard is in collection, but the catalog hasn't always worked, hasn't always been great at servicing your work. Now it does. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know how they're going to approach making the card catalog look better. I would love it to be an actual catalog. So let's say it's a book and you open it and you're able to flick through the pages. That would be amazing. That would be what I absolutely would love to see. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please do smash the thumbs up button. Really would appreciate it. I'll give another quick plug. If you want to check out the Red Dead stuff, um, they'll be at the end of this video. So please, honestly, go check it out. I really love playing the game and I would, I would appreciate a lot if you guys did support the Red Dead Redemption 2 stuff. So let's get back into this. Um, and then... There are cards. Season 5 introduces three new tiers of cards. Gothic, Neon and Shattered. Uh, as you can probably tell from the names. These are some of the most dynamic and thematically fun cards we've ever made. So they're going to be really really cool cards essentially is what they're saying. Uh, the Gothic Pro for example. To give you an explanation of the Gothic Pro. Is a moody card with crackling candles in the foreground. And bats flying around in the background. That sounds amazing. Um, overall, we're adding more than 250 new cards through these tiers. That's a lot of new cards. Uh, and we'll have some debuts. EC3, Ricochet, and Candice LeRae are more and more are joining WWE Supercard. So it'll have a lot of people coming in from NXT, probably people like the War Raiders. Um, I wonder if uh, Matt Riddle will come in. Be interesting, we'll find out anyway. And more are joining WWE Supercard. Throughout the season, we'll be releasing content updates as they always do to not only support the team of season five but also drop in some extra glitz and glam. Ooh, fancy! Uh, to let you in on a little secret, a little bit of a secret. In December, we'll be releasing a new event. New event in December, people get excited, get hyped. Releasing a new event to complement ring dom road to glory last man standing so that means that it'll be an event event not like a royal rumble or a war mode i wonder what it'll be put your predictions of what you think it's actually going to be in the comment section below maybe a war games event maybe something like that um uh, where am i uh, we might also have plans for a holiday promotion well everyone expected that and ba, 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 ba. so yeah thanks for reading our word well after four years this game is still our passion and it's clearly yours too keep letting us know what you think reach out on the social media fo and forums uh, follow me wwe supercard how about that for reaching out everyone go tell wwe supercard to follow me right now uh, we've hit the card limit fantastic but that's going to be the end of today's video 
literally you could have turned the screen off it was just me rambling about um the new update to season five what's going to be in it by the way they've also added in um i didn't want to go there i didn't want to go there where where did i want to go um what did i want to do how do i get what am i trying to do here yeah i'm trying to go to the bp store i was so confused there for a minute i'm trying to go to the bp store so where i want to go is into this i've clicked it i'm gonna click it again and now it's going to come up and it's going to take its time there we go so what you want to do here is rewards bp store look what they now have in store don't spend your battle points because likely they will be getting carried over by the way they are 100 percent getting carried over but likely when the new tears drop you'll be able to get i'm assuming neon is going to be the weakest tier. you'll be able to get a neon card from this likely i'm not promising anything but it's very likely so don't spend your battle points now let them carry over i'm not going to spend mine i could do with SummerSlam 18 pros but i'm not going to spend mine because i'm hoping that they do bring out uh the neon cards if they don't then i might consider spending them um so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video let's see if the rewards have changed at all is it guaranteed no it's not guaranteed yet but it will be in the new when the new tears drop and new season drop so yeah that's it for today's video if you did enjoy it please do smash a thumbs up don't forget to check out the red dead videos that are will be linked at the end of this one also along with the my face if you want to click that you can subscribe don't forget to join the discords at the top of the description follow me on twitter instagram twitch and xbox hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you all next time goodbye